in the remote areas of Bangladesh. Most families survive on a cow or a goat, combined with the profit from tending to their fields of rice. So when their children fall ill or contract preventable diseases, treatment can take a backseat to the family's survival. One aspect about coming to these missions is uh, we get to see a lot of disease processes that are pretty advanced that we don't typically see in the United States. Uh, for example, uh, advanced, advanced cataract surgery. Nadia Kadiza didn't have an anomaly case, but with her age and the enormous amount of patients needing care, Nadia says she wasn't expecting much. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's have a but with teams from both U.S. and Bangladeshi armies, combined with civilian specialists working together, Nadia was able to receive her examination, have her cataract removed, there it is right there, and C, who gave her her sight back, all in a matter of 45 minutes. So whenever you get a lot of doctors together, it's always a lot of shop talk and exchanging ideas. There are different patient populations, and so that exchange of, of, uh, of knowledge is always beneficial for everyone. I had the exposure to work with an American uh, ophthalmologist. I am highly benefited from him. I have seen some of the instruments. Theoretically, I have gone through in the book, but I have seen the first time and using with a ophthalmologist, a learned colleague like a Major John Emaker. It's knowledge I'll be able to take back to the United States, and for future missions, this is something that I can incorporate uh, as I go anywhere else in the world. Marine Corporal Jen Calloway, Camilla, Bangladesh.